Hi everyone, this is HM and SVD number 13 and you are most welcome for it. Today we want to start that analysis and the most basic part of that analysis is sorting. That's why in this video we want to talk about different techniques how we can sort data in Excel. We are also going to get to know the difference between a minor sort and a major sort and also we are going to see how we can sort using different colors in Microsoft Excel. Let's switch on to it and we get to know these different techniques of sorting in Microsoft Excel. Before we even start sorting in Excel, we need to know that anytime you are doing data analysis in Excel, you have to set your data set very well. Now what I'm meaning with a data set is simply a table, like this one is a table showing June 2024 HF gadget sales summary. This is already a data set and you have to set your data set very well. Now, how can we set our data set? First of all, if you want to do that analysis very well in Excel, try hard not to have any empty cell within your data set. What I'm meaning by that is like, for example, if you come to this cell here, and then you delete this data here, you leave that cell empty, and it will affect you when you are doing that analysis. So always try out, I'm going to control Z to undo that. Always try hard not to have any empty cell within your data set. Then secondly, make sure that your table is having headers. We shall see the reason why you need to have that when we start sorting. And then thirdly, make sure that around your table you have empty cells. Like for example, here I have this table here and it's surrounded by empty cells as you can see. All these cells are empty. Or you can have a column header or a row header like this one here. That one is okay. Now if you do that, your data set will now be a proper data set. Let's start sorting now. I have this table here, which is serving the list of advanced A-level HF secondary school candidates. So these are names of candidates. And here, we're going to put the index numbers. Now, we want to sort this data in a way that when we're giving the index number, the person whose name comes first will get the index number of one. Then it goes on like that. When you are sorting, avoid highlighting the range like this. If you're very sure you can highlight all the range, then that one is okay. But simply click on a single cell on a column where you want to sort. And there are actually different ways you can get to the sort command. First of all, you can come to the home tab here. And when you come to the editing group, there's sort and filter command. When you click, you get sort A to Z and sort Z to A. That one is there. Also, when you come to the data tab, there's also in the sort and filter group, there's also sort A to Z, and then sort Z to A. That one is also there. Or you can come and right click, then you come to sort, there's also sort A to Z, and then sort Z to A. Also, the keyboard shortcut to sort A to Z is Alt A S A. And the keyboard shortcut to sort Z to A is Alt A S D. Now, when I talk about sorting A to Z, that one is the Excel way of saying sorting ascending. And when you talk about Z to A, that one is the Excel way of saying you sort descending. Now ascending is sorting from the smallest to the biggest. And then descending is sorting from the biggest to the lowest. This one we want to first sort A to Z or ascending and then we give the index number. I'm going to click on a single cell and then right click come to sort and then do sort A to Z. Click and you can see our data has now been sorted but there is a problem in that data set as you can see. This one is supposed to be our header but again it got sorted also and that's not what we want. And the reason why that one happened is because Excel failed to identify that that one is our table header. So I'm going to control Z to undo that. You need to make sure that your data set is a proper data set. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight this and do control B. Now if I do this again, I'm going to click, come to data, and then click A to Z. You can see that this one is now sorted correctly because we have bolded the header. By the way, when you come here, and then you try to do the same thing. Right click, come to sort, and then do A to Z. Click. You can see that the column header did not get sorted and it's also not bolded. Let me first control Z to undo that. But for this case here, you can see that this one are text. But from the second row, you can see that we have text here 
and we have numbers here. So Excel is wise enough to detect that the record in the first column might be the column header. But still, you need to control B to bold them or give them any other formatting that can differentiate them from the rest of the records. So let's come here and we give these people index number. I'm going to do U blah 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 slash zero one. Control enter and then I'm going to copy this one down. It will increment up to tens. Now when you come to this table here for memory card I put there the yellow cell colors. The reason why I put that one I want to show you that when you sort the entire record gets intact and then they all change position at once. So for example, I'm going to click on one cell on the column where the amount is sitting and then I'm going to go to home, come to the editing group, sort and filter and then I'm going to sort this time Z to A. Click. You can see that the entire record change position. Now I want to show you that the keyboard shortcuts that we talked about also works. I'm going to control Z to undo that. The keyboard shortcut to sort Z to A is all ASD. And then you can see that it also got sorted. Now here we have a table showing Pepsi products sold in June 2024. And this table here is going to help us understand the difference between the minor and the major sort. First of all, even before we talked about the minor and the major sort, when you want to sort the dates, you click on the date column. And when you right click, you come to sort, for dates, A to Z means sorting oldest to newest. And then Z to A means sorting newest to oldest. Now, this one is text. So if I right click, come to sort, you can see that it is sorting A to Z or Z to A. I'm going to click on the number of crates here. Right click, you come to sort, you can see that it is sorting smallest to largest. That is what A to Z means. And then largest to smallest, that is what Z to A means when you are sorting numbers. When you come to amount, you can also come and check and you see that A to Z means smallest to largest. And then Z to A means largest to smallest. Now let's get to know the difference between the minor and the major sort. If you want to present your data by regions, then regions become your major sort. So everything you sort within the region will be the minor sorts. Let's do that in action. Then we see what we are meaning by this minor and major sort. Now, when you are doing that, you do the major sort last. I'm going to start by sorting the amount. You right click. I'm going to sort largest to smallest, or Z to A or descending. You click. Now for the agents, I'm going to sort the agents a to Z or ascending and I'm going to use the keyboard all A S A and then I'm going to go to the major sort now the region and I'm also going to sort the region A to Z or in ascending order so I'm going to click all A S A boom so now let's see what happened now within the central region that is our first region we have the agents also sorted A to Z so let's see now the first agent is Chong Within the central region, you can see now the data for Chong is ending here. You can see that within the central region, we have Chong and the amount for Chong is also sorted from Z to A, from the largest to the smallest. And again, within the central region, you go to the next agent, that is Juma. So you go on like that until you finish the central region. Again, you come to the eastern region. The eastern region also started with Chong. So that is what we are meaning by the minor and the major sort. So the region now becomes the major sort, reason being everything is sorted within the region. Now, for me, I like calling it the outer and the inner sorts, just for the case of understanding. The major sort become the outer sort, and then the minor sort are the inner sorts. Again, we are going to use the same data set to get to know how to sort by cell colors. Within the data set, I've gone ahead to color code some records here. Now like this one is a sale because this one is also another record. I've also given it some color. Just like that, there's also another one here. Now I've color coded them basing on this. Those records having green cell colors and then the white phone color, the records when the products were delivered to the customers. Those one having the blue cell color and a white phone color is when the product are sold while it's raining. And then those records having the dark blue cell color and then the orange phone color is when the customer qualifies for the after sale services. So those are the color codings we have in our table here. We want to see how you can sort using the cell color. If I click on a record that is having this green cell color, 
and then I right click I come to sort you can see these buttons down here put selected cell color on top or put selected font color on top you can also sort by font color then put selected formatting icon on top you're going to see all these three options here for this case we're talking about the cell color so you right click come to sort and then you come to put selected cell color on top i'm going to click now after clicking it when i go on top control up arrow you can see that all the records that are having the green cell color have already been put on top of the table as you can see so throughout our table the rest are those other colors but the green are already put on top of the table that is when you are sorting by cell color i'm going to control z to undo that then for example if you want all those that are having the color coding to be on top you need to know which one you want to be on top then follows by which one then below follows by which one so the one you want to be on top at the very top you need to sort it last for example right click come to sort then you come to put selected cell color on top you click control up arrow the greens are already on top so now let's go back again come to blue click on a cell that is having that blue cell color right click come to sort put selected cell color on top you click control up arrow you can already see that the green have gone below and then the one which is on top is now the blue so now what you want to be on top you sort last you click right click come to sort you put selected cell color on top you click and then you control up arrow you can see that we have all the records that are having the color codings on top so you can easily see that there were one two three four customers that we are given after sales service again we have the same table we are also going to use it to see that you can also sort by phone color the other one was cell color this one is now the phone color come to the cell that is having the phone color you want to sort then you right click come to sort put the selected phone color on top you click control up arrow you can see that for this particular case it's no longer the green only also those ones that are having the blue cell color are also having the white font color that's why they are also put on top now lastly for this video you're going to see how you can sort by icons i've gone ahead to put some icons on the number of crates and those icons have put it basing on these conditions here if the number of crates sold is greater than 50 i give you a tick and if it's exactly 50 crates sold you get the exclamation marks and if the number of crates sold is less than 50 i give you a cross that is the condition i've used to put these icons here so you click on a cell that is having the icons you right click come to sort then you come to put selected formatting icon on top you click you can see that for that case it was a tick and all the ticks have now been put on top as you can see now so after the ticks the rest now came in so i'm going to control z Again, let's click on a cross, right click, come to sort, put selected formatting icon on top, you click, and see that the cross is now on top. I'm going to control Z to undo that. Yeah, those are the different techniques how you can sort data in Excel. However, I have one better method how you can sort data, which is much better than how we have done it today. And we're going to see that one in our next video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Until next video, HMNS video number 14, and then we meet again. Thank you very much.